Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will learn about past simple tense, the formation of past simple tense, and brief introduction of regular and irregular verbs. The simple past tense is used to describe a completed activity that happened in the past. In other words, it started in the past and ended in the past. If we look at the timeline, this is present. Here is past and on the right side is future. So the activity we are describing in past tense must have happened somewhere here, before now, or before present. It also must start somewhere in the past and also end in the past. Starts in the past and ends in the past. For example, Hana cooked rice. When did Hana cook rice? Somewhere here in the past. She might have decided here and ended cooking rice here. She completed the activity in the past. Now, another example. My children colored the pictures. When did they color the pictures? In the past. Somewhere here. Are they still coloring it? No. They finished before now. They might have finished here, 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 but in the past, before present. So remember, simple past tense is used to describe a completed activity and it started and finished in the past. Now we will see how to form a sentence in past simple tense. First of all, let's look at the positive sentence. The formula is subject plus past form of verb. In this sentence, Hannah cooked rice. Hannah is the subject and cooked is past form of the verb. The base form here is cook. By adding ed, we made past form of the verb. So in simple past tense, we always use the past form. In negative sentence, subject plus did not and then verb. But notice here we use the base form of the verb. Base form. In positive sentence, we are using past form. In negative sentence, we are using the base form of the verb, but we are adding did not before that. For example, Hana is the subject, did not 
And then you see, here is the base form of the verb cook rice. Hannah did not cook rice. Question form. Here we bring did in the beginning, then subject, and then base form of the verb. Let's look at the example. Did Hannah cook rice? And then question mark because we are asking a question. Notice here, cook is the base form of the verb. Past form of cook is cooked, as you can see here. Now, this is a yes or no question. Did Hannah cook rice? You can answer in yes or no. But if we want to add a question word or WH question, then we will add it before did. So question word, word plus did plus subject plus verb and then base form. When did Hannah cook rice? So you can see we added question word before did. We can also say why did Hannah cook rice? When did Hannah cook rice? Where did Hannah cook rice? So if you notice in the formation, only in the positive sentence, we are using the past form of the verb. In all other forms, we are using the base form of the verb, but we are adding did. We are adding did here. We are adding did here and here as well. Now let's look at how to form the simple past form of the verb. It depends what type of verb we are using. There are two types, regular verb and irregular verb. Regular verb is the one that form its simple past tense or its past participle by adding ed or simple d to the base form of the verb. For example, if it is cook, we add ed and that will be the simple past form of the verb cook. Cooked jumped, called, we have added ed here, called, add ed to the base form of the verb, asked, added ed to the base form of the verb, decided, by adding ed, heard, Here we have added D to the base form which is here, heard. In next lesson, we will learn about the pronunciation and the spelling rules of these simple past form of the regular verbs. And then there are irregular verbs. Irregular verb is the one that does not form its simple past tense or its past participle by adding ed or d. So, let's look at the base form of verb make. The simple past form of this is made. For take, it's took. 
there is no rule to it mostly people have to memorize the past simple past forms of irregular verbs in next lessons i will share the list of commonly used irregular verbs and their simple past forms so in next lesson we will learn in detail about regular verb irregular verbs and we will do the practice for a simple past and i will also include a test in one of the lessons so that you can check your understanding that's for all for now see you again bye